what up? How's it? What up? Every white talk show host ever. What up? What up? How's it? How's it? Yeah. They say that? Yeah. How's it? How's it? Yeah. How we doing? I hate how we doing. How we doing? When people put we in anything. Hey, I think we should shorten it when you're like talking to somebody. <laughs> no, you're just telling me I need to fucking shorten it. I get it. You're trying to be inclusive and make me feel better because I screwed it up. I think we should be a little quieter. A teacher. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. Oh, me and you together? <laughs> okay. We should hush. <laughs> I, then you cut off your lecture because I don't want to hear it no more. I think we should be quiet. We're doing okay. When teachers used to count down. I'm on four. Ooh! Tyler, shut up! I'm on three. Tyler, shut up! Shh, 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 shh. Dude, shh. Don't make me get to one. And there's always the one person. It's the opposite of moms. Moms go one, two, three. Teachers go three, two, one. Moms go one, two, three? Yeah. One, two. Two on the cat, just Frank. On the they'll look on the kind of long hold on two. If you get to three, who oh boy, you were running, dude. That's a mom stomp coming for you. You were running, <laughs> boy. But yeah, teachers went opposite. I don't know if that's like a psychological thing that maybe their teachers in college are like, okay, now most moms do one, two, three. So to have a good counter effect on them, you do three, two, one. When teachers snap. Scary. When teachers cry. Dude, when your teacher <laughs> cries, it's like, oh! You feel so bad, but at the no, same- No, it's like an accomplishment, dude. People keep, like, pushing for it, you know, and it, you can, like, see a teacher about to cry. See, I always felt and bad. And then there's, like, a kid in the front row that's like, what, what, so what happened? I always, I always <laughs> so felt bad. they have to bad. keep explaining it. But those those just shithead kids, man, they, they would relish that. You- few others that i know of <laughs> see i always had to keep them in line but then other people were always on that pushing it to make them cry I, I couldn't do it i felt too out. bad verbally massage that cry out because if you get a cry bad. that's 20 minutes off the clock <laughs> yeah because they got to go to the restroom real quick have somebody come watch oh, the there's always a story yeah i don't know or like when you get when you have that distracted teacher look at you talking about school now what take oh, the yeah. shot mfs <laughs> Ben's on some school shit today. Uh, when you got that distracted teacher and you just get him going about like Pokemon for 40 minutes or something weird. Yeah, it was a game. It was the opposite of the quiet game. Usually everybody does a quiet game, but you're trying to distract the teacher game. Get some text here. Shot 64. Big one. Big one today. We had Bronk yes, or last week, and he just committed to IU. Right before we got on the air. We started recording. Joey Bronk commits to IU. Kind of shitty he didn't tell us. Yeah. That would have been big. <laughs> no. Had like yeah, the break most, it with us. Break it with Spress. Had the most like listened to show ever because all the IU fans are like. <laughs> Hold on. Did he say anything? <laughs> Is he going to commit? <laughs> yeah. So he's going to IU. So that's tight. Kyle Guy announced he's going to the NBA draft. Tight. Yeah. I mean, what else can you do, right? You most outstanding player, win the national championship. It's time. Go. It's time. See ya. Uh, but today, yeah, so we had Brunk last week, and then we were keeping this keeping this low-key, but we got her today. Ashley Flowers, host of Crime Junkie Podcast. Big. Huge. Big host. Yeah. Big show. True crime podcast. That's hot right now. Everybody's got their favorite true crime. Most of them are crime junkie. She's the host of it. Uh, she she lives in the Indianapolis area, so I was like, yo, Ashley, what up? You, you want to come do an interview? She's like, sure. Took a little bit. She's busy, man. She's got a big show. She's doing a tour, like going around the country meeting fans. Holy she, shit. she walked busy. Yeah. And you know, so, when somebody uh, walks, you're like, well, you got somewhere to go. Right. We got her in the studio. Awesome, awesome time with her. Play a little crime, no crime. Hype. And then today, since it's shot 64, BP came up with a great idea for Mock Draft 3.0. Let's do some video games. So yeah. we're going to hit on that first. Not first. What's up? Very hot. Okay. Got? You know Karan Butler? Yeah. Used to play for the Heat. Uh-huh. I forget where else he played. Everywhere. But uh, always a bald guy. Just showed up on TV with, a, with like, waves. Really? Full head of hair. That's a popular thing now. Is it weird to for just athletes. is it weird to just show up with hair one day? Like it or is that like kind of like oh he did it? I think so. Um is just the opposite Pretty of drastic. Going bald. 
you know, deciding to make the decision to go bold instead of come in and have hair. But that's a big endorsement for athletes who have retired now. Brian Urlacher. So many billboards Ryan in Sandberg. Chicago. Oh, Every yes. billboard is Brian, Brian Urlacher, Urlacher with hair. Yep. Now Karan Butler. Colin Cowherd did that thing for a while where he, he like got more hair and then it was brown. That he, was weird. He went from straight he gray. He turned into like a Hollister brown. model. Yeah, it was really weird. And he had blue eyes. Like, what the hell happened? It's like somebody put a filter on Colin Coward, like an Instagram <laughs> filter. Yeah. Sepia. X-Pro. Yeah. Who put X-Pro on Colin Coward? Juno. <laughs> Juno's good good, too. What was your favorite? <laughs> Juno was hype, dude. dude Juno, and, you, you, Juno was always making things better. Like, it made you a little bit tanner, but not crazy tan. Just like, it just darkened it a little bit. But didn't it suck when people put the smack on filters? Like, one day, somebody was just like, filters are for girls. And now you're like, ah, yeah, like you can't, you can't just openly it, it look. It's weird now if you use a filter on every picture. Yeah. Like, no, you have you, to be very subtle hiding? about it or the lighting has to be messed up or there needs to be, you know, you need to be making a decision like you're announcing something and turn it black and white or something like that. Black and white picture. When do you make that call? Or you need to do like one that's regular and then another swipe that's black and white. <laughs> Yeah, hey, so, how about something uh, like that with filters? When girls used to on their Instagrams have like the the white sides. <laughs> yeah, that was what early was Instagram. That? that was that what was was that, that was baby Instagram days. That was baby IG. Yeah. Well, like, what was the strategy there? They like, post. It was just more artsy. It's like mm, I'm. I I can design this. I'm cute. More artsy, but every single girl did it. Yeah. So no, not right. more artsy. Cake pop, white sides. White sides, dude. Gotta sepia, have white sides. Sepia. Uh, Hard to filter. transition out of the white sides, you know, when you're done with the white sides. Yeah. I saw somebody with black sides. Didn't look good. Yeah. My uh, go-to filter, toaster. Mm. Make Remember it a little toaster? bit tanner? You make it a little bit Just tanner? Just kind of made it a little bit like retro, like poof. What about Lark? <laughs> <laughs> Reyes? Get a little, you going through Jose Reyes? <laughs> Dude, uh, <laughs> what are the other ones? Keep going. Um, What's the one at the X end? X Pro Two, What's Nashville. The at- oh! <laughs> Dude, when you got yours in mind, you're like, "That's the one I want." Yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. get to that one at the end, you're like, "Oh fuck!" That was hard to choose. There was one at was the tough. end that always got your ass, yeah. dude. What was it? It was at Nashville. Yeah, I think so. Nashville was kind of tight, but I was like, "Why is it called Nashville?" What I know. What made them the filter right. city? Yeah. That's why Nashville thinks they're so cool. They're like, we're a filter. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're a filter, guys. Get over yourselves. Go down there, take a picture with the wings behind you, and use the Nashville filter for the love of God. Nashville, dude. What were the other ones? I don't know. That's where the NFL draft is next week. I'm just already tired of all the honky-tonk and like country music puns Jeez. that the coverage is going to use. What's Is it all uh, cowboy theme or whatever? Yeah, yeah, like Honky Tonk, Nashville, Broadway. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing's going down. Um, Tiger Woods, man, did you watch any of that? Of course not. That didn't draw 100%. you to the. That didn't draw you to the TV. Uh, no, but I think that filter was Valencia. Ah, yeah, Valencia was pretty tight too. Lark. Valencia, Juno, Lark, not bad. Hey, dead X-Pro. last Walden. <laughs> Get a, yeah, right, Walden. Where's like, Walden? At least <laughs> at least give me some effort, Walden. So you didn't watch any of Tiger Woods? No, Not a little bit. Not even the last, ever on, last bit? Never. My ever. favorite thing about this I don't past, even know what channel golf's on. My, <laughs> CBS, dude. Jim Nance whispering in your ear. He does that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Tiger pulling up for the Masters. ASMR. Golf. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what broadcasters do when it's like a and when, right before they're getting ready to hit the shot, I'm like, are you is, are you this, broadcasting are you right behind them? On? Like, is the, is the booth literally directly In behind them? ear. Goes for the butt. Yeah, that's what, it, seriously. On the last hole when Tiger was about to win, Gross. that's what it was like. Woods, behind the ball. Ah! For the win and the Masters. Dude, stop. I can't. Comeback. That's why I can't. And then immediately... Golf. He's done it! He's got it, Tiger! Tariqa went this far. And Augusta roars like never before. It was pretty. It was. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can't believe that, though, man. I thought you'd be all about a little bit, Tiger Tiger Woods. No. I've never purposely been like, let's check out this uh, par four. This is a Masters, though. 
Just like uh <laughs> Well, I mean <laughs> my favorite thing about this past weekend though was um how everybody decided like everybody becomes on first name basis with Tiger when Tiger's playing. Like my mom was like, What are you doing? We can put Tiger on. I was like, Emily, we got CSI on. Tiger's a stroke back. Like I know. That one of those names. Well, yeah. Duh. But just everybody's like, I want to watch Tiger. You guys watching Tiger? So that's the like, first golf you've watched since last April. Same. i I don't I just have never I've never really known anybody who watches golf like that, so I never have. Like I've Gold never jacket, green jacket, who gives a shit? Kinda like that. There you go. That's you. That's all right. Putt putt gang though. I'm all about playing golf, I think. Big putt putt first date. Uh it seems corny, but I would absolutely do that. In the if rotation, it, that could be fun. I'd be like if, I would no, it'd be weird. I, I I don't think I could be like, hey, wanna go putt putt? It just sounds so like eighth grade. Putt putt? You wanna go putts putts? <laughs> wanna go putts putts? <laughs> Thing is, we gotta wear jerseys. <laughs> putts putts and go karts, go kurts, go gurts and putts putts. <laughs> all, all jerseys. <laughs> hey, Andrew Luck, he got married a few while uh, a few weeks ago, a few while back. Yeah, can't talk. Um, I was thinking about it. What what would he do for his bachelor party? Putts putts. He would. He did seem like a bachelor party kind of guy. Andrew Luck. I had a few what people tweet at me. Fun? I said that it would be like definitely a tour. He would definitely have some sort a of museum. a museum. Nice. He would, he would have some sort of a tour, whether it be like on a boat in Chicago or just a tour bus around the city or a museum. That would be definitely one of the main activities. For some reason, I can see him on a boat. Like in the water. Like fishing with no technology. I I kind of thought of a classy boat, like in a movie. You could be classy and still fish. I wonder who his friends are. I was thinking that too, kind of. I was like, does he even have friends to invite to a bachelor party? Who's hanging out with Andrew Luck? Just that one tight end that was really annoying for the Colts. Kobe, Jack Doyle? Kobe something? Kobe Fleener. Ew. Dude. Kobe Fleener and Jack Doyle. That name. C O B Y. Just a bun just the tight end crew. Or bad axe throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. God, that's the worst. Wearing wearing that? those like newsies, like old school newspaper uh, boy hats. The ones from like from 1912. Steak and shake? <laughs> no, the ones from like t- the Titanic. Uh, like those little just beanies on top of your head that don't really have a bill. <laughs> All of them wearing that. Have you done bad axe throwing? No. I saw one in the, in the Axe like snap back. Yeah, that was crazy. Did you see that? Yeah. It like went low. You know who does bad axe throwing? Who? Putts. It's a very, that. very putts activity. You bad axe throw, you putts. <laughs> I I wouldn't trust myself. At it, a gun, it does I, seem dangerous. Like, you what? Like, how's that not going to mess up once and hurt somebody? Hey, you, same with shooting ranges. I'm... Freaks me out. I'll never walk in there. Hey, you guys want to go bad axe throwing and then, you know, drive home backwards or something? Like, it just seems like a bad idea. Bad idea throwing. <laughs> hey, um, today's National Cheese Ball Day. Mm. National Haiku Day. Haikus were pretty hot in grade school. Haikus freak me out, dude. If you're going to write a poem, make it rhyme. That's why I like haikus. What's the point? It's just three know, it senses just kinda, put together. It was just kind of like one of those, you know, mean, median mode. Like, median was always pretty tight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> on haiku day, no, it dude, was like, Median right. sucked because you had to figure out what in the middle. That, that was so hard. I thought it was really easy. Or what was the one just the, the most the most of the same? Mode. <laughs> mode, mode. Sicko mode. Yeah, that was sicko. How many math teachers <laughs> when they're teaching mean, median mode turn that <laughs> on? How has somebody not made a remix to that about math and is like gone viral, you know? Some dorky ass teacher. Fifth grade math teacher goes viral by sicko mode remix. We can't remember mode. We can't remember mode. Oh, do I have a treat for you? That'd be pretty funny if a math teacher, CIO. Somebody's on light duty. 
<laughs> the three-light panel. <laughs> Man, I haven't heard that in a while. It's still Yeah, it's mean, though. Hype. Mean was mean. A little too mean. It's just the average. Yeah, don't don't let don't make me get out of calculator. I remember those lines with median though. You like had the seventy two and thirty six for the ends of the lines, and then right in the middle, I'd do a little dot. You got a little, I did the little counting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We went to the same school. A lot of arm work that. on the on the desk for median, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he must uh, be dots. doing the median right now. <laughs> Your elbows are all flailing out. Ow, you just hit me in the chin. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm trying move. to find the median. Um, National Cheese Ball Day, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, how how much do people love to toss those things in their mouth? It's such like a, it's such a, like a Sam's Club thing. <laughs> you know, you can't just, it seems like you can only, you can't buy like 30 cheese balls. You got to buy like 6,000. <laughs> Why is that? Like you gotta buy a actual barrel, yeah. And people are like, "I love them," and they still get them. just toss them straight up. Hey, hey, hey! At work, if you bring cheese balls in, without a doubt, somebody, hey, throwing in my mouth. That's always a go-to game. Why is that always a go-to like flirt game too? <laughs> it's such yeah. a flirt game. Grapes or cheese balls? Grapes with a girl. Game over. No, after you catch it in your mouth once, we can't do it ever again. <laughs> Have we talked about this? I don't know. When it hits <laughs> right off your teeth, man. Ooh, yeah. with the skittle. Ooh, with the skittle. See you ya. hear it. You hear that. Mm-hmm. And you can tell, and everybody always... <laughs> Dude, that was a bad throw. No, was it? You just didn't move your head right. That's a bad throw. Every always time. blame it on the throw. I couldn't even, like... You gotta, you gotta put some air under it. You make that special connection there, though. Like, if you, you toss up it, a grape yeah. and it's a good throw and a good catch, you're like, we're kind of friends. Yeah. Basically friends. For sure. Yeah. Uh, haiku's though. Any, uh, haiku yeah, lit. Haiku, that's what it was. I didn't five, know. seven, five. Easy. Doesn't have to rhyme. Just syllables. Bow, bow, bow. Looks good, you know? Uh, to me, though, it doesn't. It's just a day off of rhyming. Give haikus a break. I'm not giving haikus a break. Dude. Give haikus a break. There's no point. They deserve. It's fine. how is that called a it's poem? Fine. It's just three sentences. It's the syllables, man. It's all about the presentation for haikus. Doesn't have to mean shit. Yeah, I don't like it. Everybody knows what it is, though. Give me how some... come we all had to learn what haikus were? I don't know. For that one creative writer person who like went to IU to study that. That's it. Haikus. We're gonna write a haiku today. I was like, <clears throat> day off. <laughs> yeah, haikus. A haiku about Lent. Every religion yeah. bless. Lent's almost. I'd over. like to go Ooh. back and see my poems from when I was growing up. Stupid. They're just like our headlines now. <laughs> hey, all that twenty five years ago today premiered. Twenty five years ago Tuesday. Twenty five years ago? Yeah, that's crazy. That's it's a show. That's me. That theme song, man. Uh, uh, I know we talk about it like every show, but that was pretty good. They really, they really, uh, they really did something special with that. Uh, what else? Is there anything viral? This is the only thing I could find. Okay, it's not good. Let's go viral a little bit. Welcome to life in your thirties. This is so lame, man. I don't even want to say it. Okay. Is that it? I'm trying to find it. Hold on. You know this Wi-Fi not lit. It's just things you do in your 30s. Life Basically, your 30s. adulting. Mm. Chad, I don't like preview. What up? Basically, dude, drink one beer at 6 p.m. happy hour and have a slight headache the next day. It's like 30s starter pack. What would you put? What would you put in your twenty-five plus starter pack? Is it the same thing as thirties? No. Are you burpee boy right now? No. I saw that and heard that. <laughs> do I have to? Yeah, God. dude. That, that's 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 law. You burp, you do burpee. That's for like in Domino's Pizza, man. Hey, I think I've hit the point of no return for checking my work email. It's done. <laughs> 
So I was out since last Wednesday moving. I went to Chicago and I just, I got back on Monday and I said, you know what? It's going to be so overwhelming with so many of them. I don't, I just, I can't, I can't handle it. You haven't done it I'm yet. Not to, I haven't checked it. You are weird with that. I'm not going to. Like sometimes when somebody sends you a message, he'll be like, Hey, will you look at this for me? Yeah, I am. But I can't wait to look at it either. I'm like, of course. It's God, not, you don't even have to ask. It's not even a thing about that, I guess. I know there's going to be people who are, you know, hey, where is this type of stuff? But I'm like, hey, I have an extension and I have a phone and I have a personal email. If you really, really need me, you'd get me. Work emails, man, especially here. Oh yeah, I'm just it's, gonna. Why is it a thousand emails a day? Does anyone else have that problem? I'm just, but I, seriously, like, I can't look at it. If I, I miss something, it's not my fault. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm afraid that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid that for the next week and a half, like, I'm just gonna be off the map, and then all of a sudden, people are gonna really get pissed off. But at the same time, you know what? I'm just, I'm too deep. I'm too deep, dude. It's Wednesday, and I haven't checked yet. It's a week. You gotta check. I'm afraid. I think I just hit the point where I'm gonna wait till it's long enough to where it's like, okay, everything that's happened that far ago is just completely it it doesn't matter anymore. So I'll just check and go through and just click them all off to their unread. Then I'll reset. Something happened to my phone email, and every time I hit the mail icon or whatever, the mail app, it just nothing happens. Like it it blinks. Yeah. So I can't check my mail on my phone, and I'm not mad about it. Yeah. Like I'm like okay, well, it's the worst, dude. Email worst God. but best. What? So much garbage in my email. Why can I not go through and just unsubscribe from all that shit? Why am I like a little bit attached to everything? Because you never know if that one killer deal is gonna come through, dude. Or that I one have the killer worst dream job. Worst one. Oh, on Indeed. God, can Indeed just get out of my life, I know. dude? It's like I'm just waiting here, Indeed. Come on. I've been waiting for a long time. Always an email at like get a little tired of waiting. Three a.m. I'm like, indeed. So many of them, like four or five a day. Hey, there's indeed. fourteen new. Like, <laughs> there's fourteen new sales management management positions open near you. Mm, okay. Always an indeed. Old Navy. Really on yours? Huge. You gotta Big. unsubscribe. Yeah, but you never know, dude. Those four for twenty V necks. Yep. Target, big. Those those MFs, there's a reason why they're popping, because they live in everybody's phone. They live in their face. I got to unsubscribe. One time I did it, just a whole day. It took like seven hours. I unsubscribed <laughs> from everything. Then you're like, I kind of miss getting my email notifications. <laughs> yeah, and then I resubscribed to like 15 <laughs> shoe places. There's no there's no point, man. Yeah. I hate Dick Sporting Goods. I hate all their marketing. It's the worst. Mm. Remember the Dick Sporting Goods website? Yeah, Obviously. it's weird. Everybody's gone to dicks.com on that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. It is the weird. First thing it's anybody's like, have you ever guys, done. You, is anyone like operating this website? And it's all just, it? it's just so bland. It is. The can whole thing dick, is can just Can dicks bland. get a personality? Yeah. Come on. They're, they're apostrophe. Hey, I mean, you're dicks sporting goods for God's sake. Their apostrophe is like a basketball, soccer ball, tennis ball, and a golf tee. Have you ever noticed that? It's, it's so Will Ferrell 2005 movie. Like, he works at Dick Sporting Goods, and it's like, a little home sporting goods store. It's so plain. They have nothing. Makes me not want to go there. I don't cut through there at the mall at Greenwood Park Mall anymore. No, I do. I don't. I just give a high walk five. It I give a high five to that big Under Armour guy and just keep <laughs> rolling through. <laughs> I walk outside, or I don't walk in at all. That's it. Hey, name of the week real quick. Darnell Savage. Safety from Maryland. Going Can't mess the, that up. Going to the NFL draft. Can't mess up that first name. Destined to be a Steeler. Savage on the back of the jersey. Bought it. Already bought it. Hey, you want to talk to Ashley? Yeah. Wow, Ashley Flowers in hey, studio. Hey. <laughs> Very <laughs> relevant name. <Yeah. laughs> Is that a fake name? We talk about names a lot no, on this le- show. No, my That's legit real? born name. You're like, no, I just use it for spring. F- yeah, no, everyone thought, like, I, yeah, it's like my stage name. Uh, growing up, everyone said it was a stripper name, but oh, just my real name. Yeah. Ouch. Well, I know. I'm trying to make it more than that now. For sure. Well, for, for I mean, a lot of people know, but for those who don't know, Ashley Flowers is the host of Crime Junkie pro- uh, Podcast. Yeah. Uh, it's just freaking taking over, man. I mean, everybody's <laughs> listening to Crime Junkie. People want the true crime, and Ashley and Britt. 
Yeah, Brit. Ashley and Brit, they give it to you every week on Mondays. That's when the new episodes come out, right? You got it. Me and my fiance actually just listened to the one on Monday night about uh, Timothy. Yes. That yeah. one was wild. That one was wild. So, yeah, I got to follow at True... Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Not True Crime. At Crime Junkie. Yeah, crack crime junkie podcast on Instagram at crime junkie pod on Twitter. Yeah, just you you, you pub the whole thing. Yeah, because yeah, I don't do mess this. this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> and then at in I N D Ash Flowers, right? Uh, yeah, Indy Ash Flowers. Indy Ash Flowers. Okay, cool, cool. So you're saying that you do the show from your spare room? Is yeah. that and then because it doesn't sound like you and Britt. I don't want to give too many secrets behind the curtain or anything. But how does that go down with you and Britt every week when you're putting it together? Yeah, we're really open about it. So uh, she doesn't even live here. She lives like two and a half hours away up in South Bend. Oh, nice. So we're on the phone uh, having a conversation. We're recording two totally separate tracks. All the magic happens, but with editing, my brother does all of that. And so it's like a very oh, like man. grassroots, homegrown, like I'm doing it in my spare room. My brother does the editing, but we're making something pretty good. People are liking it. Yeah, definitely. I mean- we're doing the show and everybody's like two white guys doing a podcast classic. <laughs> but you guys are like that's every day. You started a podcast and it's just blowing up. I mean, what what was the origin of the idea of like, hey, you want to talk about murders and serial killers and stuff? Yes. Who doesn't though? I mean, well, that, so exactly. It's 2019. Everyone's obsessed with true crime. Um, and I've been obsessed with true crime for literally ever. And I had since 2014 when serial came out. I had consumed every true crime podcast, like the really good ones, the really bad yeah. ones. What got you into just crime? <laughs> like, I swear, like there was no one I thing. Robbed the house when I was young. <laughs> from there, ever since. Uh, no, like my mom, like I grew up watching those geriatric murder shows, like Matlock and Perry Mason. Just like with your mom. Yeah, and so yeah, and classic it, like, bonding time. Yeah, like I loved the fiction stuff, and like you know, I got to like ten, and I was like, oh crap, like all this is based on real stuff. Yeah, and I just always into it, always. So yeah, nice. so I, I consumed all the podcasts and I felt like there was something missing and I was like, I think I can I can make what I want to hear and I just decided to give it a go. Hell yeah. How did it catch fire? <laughs> yeah. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like I, I busted ass to get it to like do that. Um, it's been a lot of like guerrilla marketing, like straight up I made like cards and would leave them everywhere. I used to travel for work. Every rest stop I was in, I was leaving cards, I was leaving stickers. Like where? Just like on the... In the bathroom. Like, I knew women were my audience. Wow. So, in the women's bathroom. Like, right in, in the, the back stalls. of the door? Yeah, I would tape it to the back of the door. <laughs> I for leave, real? Oh, for real. Like, it, I mean, very, like, boots to the ground marketing. Damn. I did some paid social marketing. I did a lot of paid marketing or advertising on other shows, a lot of cross promotion. Um, but it was just nonstop. I was working a full-time job, but I was doing 80 to 100 hours a week just on the podcast. Wow. So, it was a lot of work. Levels, <laughs> didn't sleep. Bro. Yeah. God. Are you, you all about the coffee? Level. Uh, no, not not a ton of the coffee. No, I don't know. What do you do? How do you do it? How do you stay awake? I I, mean, I just love it. I, I don't even think about it. Like because I'm constantly I can't I, I'm laying there thinking about all the things that I have to do and want to do. So I might as well get up and just do them. Yeah. So every week you have either a missing or or a murdered case that comes in. So I mean, how do you decide? You know what? This week we're gonna do this. This week I'm gonna put all this research. Like, where do you even find all this? I know this is the internet, but like Google. I mean, Wikipedia or is it just straight up? No, God, no. Yeah, that that would make us one of the podcasts I don't love. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, everything is found online. So we're not investigators. We're not journalists. Like, I'm a storyteller. So I'm compiling everything that's out there into, like, a digestible 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, a lot of what I get, though, is, like, from news articles. I love finding old news articles that are scanned or I have to go to the library to get because that's meaning I'm probably going to get something that no one else is talking about. Some movie shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of it's just compiled. And I really, it's just whatever kind of case I feel like talking about. Or the, the case we did today was just super relevant because yeah. it was in the news. They thought there was this big break. It didn't turn out to be. So it, again, really all based on feeling. I know what I liked to hear as a crime junkie. I really think of myself as my audience. And I think that's why I've been able to like connect with them so well. As, I mean, I know what they want because they want the same thing I do. For sure. So are you paranoid all the time? Like freaked no. out. Well, we call it pre-paranoid, like being pre-paranoid because you're prepared, but you're also prepared just kind of crazy. Yeah, also kind of paranoid. I I'm not like again with our show. I think a lot of what people love is that like we're like learning something from it. Like, what are all the things you can do to prevent this from happening to you? Yeah. So I'm not super paranoid, but I know a lot of our listeners are. Yeah, you guys do that to me every week. I <laughs> swear. Me and Riley, my my fiance, will listen, and then like the next day, I see like a guy walking on the street next door. I'm like, well, hold up. You just don't know. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let me get in between you. You just don't know. Remember what Ashley said? It's getting weird out here. What is it? Be, be weird. Be, be weird. Rude. Rude. Stay alive. Stay alive. It's the motto, right? Is it hard to 
do a podcast like that with somebody that's not in studio? Like to have like a real good conversation with your co-host that isn't there? I think it would be hard if it wasn't her. So her and I were born on the exact same day. We've been friends literally since birth. So, I mean, we have just like this crazy like friend connection that I think it's it makes it really easy for us. If I tried to do it with anyone else, I'm not sure that it would work. Yeah. Dang. I actually use, so when something crazy happens on the show, Ben, I don't know how from, I, I mean, I listen to everything, like I said, but like when you guys say the full body chills, yeah. I said that about the Star Wars trailer on Friday. Yeah. I texted her. I was like, she was <laughs> like, it was, she, I was like, it was crazy. She was like, it was, it was good. I was like full body chills. Full body chills. <laughs> so yeah. it applies yeah, to other to places. Everything. Yeah, it really does. That's I think funny. I got, the last time I got full body chills is when he played the Keenan and Kel intro. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I was like, oh my God. Every day of my life. The FBC, man. <laughs> or the uh, Full body chill. the uh, I'm Blue song. Oh, the that little, too. Yes. Yeah. At the beginning. Like the, the little blue, like the na, 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 that one? What's that? The I'm Blue song? Is that what you're talking about? I'm Blue. What were you singing? Yeah. I was like, is that the Smurfs intro? <laughs> no. Because we were talking about this. I don't know how, I don't know how I'm familiar. I mean, <laughs> obviously like, yeah, you're yeah, familiar, yeah. but this, um, what are we doing here? <laughs> this very know, beginning. This very beginning, Ashley. Yeah, here we go. Oh no way! No, you missed it. There Damn you it! Go. That's full. That's full body oh, chills for me. No, here's yeah, the story. That's, that's how. That's that's high for sure. So you went to Arizona State. I just did. found that out today. Yeah. But you are a Notre Dame fan, or are you a Notre Dame fan? Totally. Uh, grew up in South Bend. And then went to Arizona State. So diehard Notre Dame fan. If they play Arizona State, I still root for Notre Dame. Um, but what I took you out there. I okay. You know how people have FOMO. Like I have yeah. whatever the opposite of that is. Like the minute I find out everyone's doing something, I want to do the exact opposite. All my friends are going to in-state schools, and I was like, "What's the farthest away I can go and like start a new life?" <laughs> so that's what it's I did. Like top five party schools every year since <laughs> yeah. 1998. Always, <laughs> yeah. always. That's awesome, man. That's great. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, that's kind of what our nah, show is a little so. bit. Like it's kind of Gets express the law. Grain. Yeah, we call it one of our express laws. If somebody's done it first, yeah. you can't do it again. Exactly. Kinda. Yeah. Well, yeah, just like do something different, have a different experience. Like otherwise my story would be the same as everyone else. I For think. sure. So do you have a favorite serial killer or like case or anything? Or serial? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Golden Grams person. Um, Damn, really? Yeah, I love Golden Grams. Right. It's a good yeah. one. It's a good one. Um, it's as forgotten as, a lot. Go ahead. I agree. But as far as cases go, um, I think my favorite one that I've ever done is not necessarily a serial killer, but we did a case on April Tinsley, which is local to Indiana. It was up in Fort Wayne. And it was a case that I was super passionate about because before we did it, nobody really knew who she was. Like to me, it was on par with like the Jean Benet Ramsey case, just oh, in like yeah. how like horrific it was and the killer was taunting the community, but no one knew about it. I think because her family was very low income. Mm -hmm. So I loved that and just bringing that to people's attention. And then the fact that we covered it and then a few months later it got solved after 30 years blew my mind. It was so cool. Yeah. The one that uh, another Indiana one that I had a tie was, uh, the guy he was he was um he he was going after a lot of homosexuals uh in, oh, in Indy and oh, in, yeah, uh, her Baumeister. Yes, in Westfield yeah, and they the had the mannequins. mannequins. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. Dude, it's crazy. Run that back. Anything so, with a mannequin, I'm but, like, oh, let's dude, talk. He, let Ashley tell it. She yeah. He would like bring these guys back to his house and he had this indoor pool and they would walk in the indoor pool and surrounding the pool were like a bunch of fake mannequins. <gasps> Because he was like pretending that it was like a party, but without real people. Like it's so. So, so he was inviting people shit. to his mannequin. Pool. Just the he would just mannequin bring men party. home. Just like one guy would come. So it's him and one guy. Oh, like a one night stand no. type thing. Walking into this like dimly lit indoor pool surrounded by mannequins. Yeah, and you then got I, a picture. There's a picture. <laughs> I gotta of, see this. There's a picture of the house. I actually mannequins looked it up after like I listened drinks. to it. They have like you guys. So so yeah, his house is in Westfield. They like sell tickets. You can like go spend the night in the house. It's I mean it's like a big indie thing. It's I haven't terrifying. done it yet. If you look it up, it has this creepy website that has all these horror stories about like mm -hmm. people who have lived there afterwards. Ghosts. Ghosts and yeah. Yeah, he killed a lot. Oh, of imagine dudes. living there after that. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. It's terrifying. So Take a dip. I, I was like, I, I get why you want to do things like this, but like the big huge cases like. JFK assassination or like OJ Simpson trial. Like you did a little bit on that, didn't you? The OJ trial. So, uh, so we have a fan club where we get a little more like less, it's no less educational, a little more entertainment. So we did OJ for that. Our big thing is we don't want to cover stuff if it's, if that we can't find a new way to do it. Um, so when we did OJ, we actually presented another theory. That's like, well, what if he didn't do it? Um, wow. But it was, it was, it was a good, well-received episode. It was interesting. 
And then like Lauren Spear too. I know <laughs> the that's the yeah. number one most requested ep- like episode we ever get. I'm trying to find a way again to do it in a different, unique way. Um, I actually reached out to her family. Like they really have no interest in us doing it. Yeah. So that also makes me feel Damn. weird. Um, uh, yeah. Are, are people are, like our families in general? Are they like thanks for bringing more of a light to it, or are they kind of like eh, I don't feel comfortable with it? Yeah. Uh, Nor- Lauren Spear is the only one I have ever reached out to like preemptively, um, only because I reached out to them before I ever had the podcast. Every other time, family has reached out to us afterwards, and every other time, they've just been really happy that we're still talking about their family member, whether they're missing or their killer's still on the loose, or even just still talking about them at, you know, after they're gone. For sure. Yeah. Well, I think we want to play a little thing, crime or no crime. Crime or no crime. <laughs> okay, I'm we interested. Want, we wanted to run some things by you since you're uh, the crime expert, obviously. Ben, do you want to start? Obviously. Okay, well, we can go here. Okay, crime or no crime? Sleeping in socks. Oh, I'm going to go no crime because I love sleeping in socks. Wow. I'm the oddball out here. I what is going on? I love sleeping in socks. Dang. <laughs> no, you have like- I thought that was so- When he said a couple no. shows ago, I was like, what is wrong with you? No, the best thing is like you, you go to bed in your socks and then you like get like nice and cozy People and like are thrown kick, up them, right now. kick them off in the middle of the night and then your feet are- Oh, nice I can't do that, dude. I can't do that. <laughs> So you like do both. I, yeah. Start, so, oh, when I lose I'm a sock a in the of a middle of the night, oh, it's over. I'm already so mad. One cold foot. I mean, it's very And the other one's always halfway on your foot. Yeah. No, no, that happens. <laughs> How are you cold, though? You got blankets on and Dude, shit. it's just, my, I don't know. Feet are just always cold. <sighs> Never had warm feet. Crime or no crime? Dipping chicken tenders in Coke. You're an absolute serial killer if you do that. <laughs> what yes. is that? Ben was trying to say it. It's just like, oh, I could see it. No way. Dude, there, there, there was like, there was like Jumbotron question? footage at a basketball game of this girl like with chicken tenders and Coke. <laughs> and she didn't know it was on her. And she was like, no. And did it real quick and took a bite. No. Like, oh! So then yeah. it started going kind of viral. And people I can like, see mm-hmm. like if you're just like at a game kind of bored, you got a Coke in one hand, chicken tenders in the other. I can see that happening. It totally ruins the chicken tender and the Coke because then all the breadcrumbs are going to fall off. In. Oh. You're not thinking going in like this is going to be the next <laughs> thing. You just want to experiment a little bit. Damn, I mean, no. She needs to be on a list somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely Slips. not. Stuff at games is too expensive anyways, too, because then you got to go get another. Right, forget it, man. Forget it. All right, all right, Maybe go. one bite? All right, can you fine, give me fine, one bite? Fine. Oh. The I first one bite. One Coke bite. I will not concede. One Coke bite. The first bite. Give me one bite. All right, all right, go. What if it's Dr. Pepper? All right. <laughs> crime or no crime? Foot out the window when driving. These no are crime. all about feet, by the way. Yeah. Cause like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, still no crime. Like I, I'm like, we just did a trip across the country. Like let those puppies just breathe. Both your feet. Just no, well, I don't know about both. Flapping. <laughs> just. No, I think Ben's saying away. like while you are behind the wheel, not in the passenger oh, seat. Oh, yeah, like how? right foot on the gas, hand on the wheel, <laughs> left foot <laughs> out the window. <laughs> It's just there. So would do uh, that. I, I, I feel like that's got to be like violating some kind of traffic laws. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm very safe. It. That feels like reckless driving to me. I think I would do it, but I always think if I got in a wreck, that'd be like the most painful way to go out. <laughs> your leg is on the table right now, just, so I fully believe that. <laughs> it would just snap I your sleep leg in in socks, half, dip dude. chicken and Coke, and I drive with my foot on <laughs> Man, you're nuts. All right. A couple more from me. This, this one's a little bit different. Crime or no crime? Grown men wearing jerseys with someone else's name on the back. To a game? Mm. No. I mean, crime. Like, if you're not going to a game. I mean, I know that you guys are sports guys, but... What if you're watching the game? Fair. What if you're not there, but you're watching yeah, the game? Yeah, no crime. What if... What, <laughs> what if, if it's it, a Wednesday? <laughs> what if it's a Wednesday, but like it's like half-price drink Wednesday, and you're like going out? I mean, are, are you wearing, like, you, I feel like you're taking very, like, offense to this. So, yeah. like, I, whatever you no, want to do. I, I just jersey think, on under a shirt. You do you. You do you. I have no offense. I just, <laughs> it's, break a, it down. it's a topical thing. I just like to hear. When I get home from thought. work. <laughs> yeah, to me, it's like, I mean, to me, jerseys are meant to be, like, representing games or if, like, it, even if a game's on and you're not, like, at it. Otherwise, I mean, you've got to own another shirt. I yeah. hope. Yeah, for sure. It's okay. Crime. <laughs> ben, you got a few more? Uh, using ellipses in text. Like, hey, you coming down for dinner, dot, dot, dot? Is that a crime or no crime? No crime. I own the dot, dot, dot. Oh, wow. So you're just leaving people hanging. I mean, maybe not. Explain it. 
I mean, maybe not in text, but like I know when I write scripts, like I dot 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 is everywhere. It's well, big for pauses and to be able to break it up for sure. It just never looks good, you know. It, You're like making me want to go back through all of my text messages. Because I agree, like maybe it's not the best thing. I don't think I use it a ton in text messages, but I use it a ton in my writing. But I don't know if people can hear that. Dot dot dot. I always there's, think it's, it looks disappointing. There's just so see? much. I yeah. think there's so much when sass. When it gets subway dot, 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 you're like, uh, I guess not anymore. I think the dot, dot, dot is like, I expect you to respond. Like, don't leave me hanging. Oh, my God. Dang, if my, <laughs> if, I'm scared. If my dad or my fiance does dot, 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 See I'm ya. panicking. I'm really? hitting the panic button. You guys, you're stressing me out. I'm sorry. Well, the writing thing, it makes sense because, like you said, you have to, like, give yourself, okay, I needed to maybe, like, pause here dramatically or something. Yeah, I don't know. I but, get that in a script. All right, last one for me. This one's pretty topical right now, too. Crime or no crime? Crime or no crime? <laughs> Can't talk. Chimes or no chimes? chimes. <laughs> Do you like them or not? <laughs> right. No chimes. Crime or no crime? <laughs> Calling a rom-com a chick flick? N- no crime? Is that a thing? Are people worried about this? Netflix, like, UK last night tweeted a whole thread about why it needs to be outlawed calling rom-coms I that was chick fake. flicks. And so I just want to get your opinion. People are so, on both sides. Crime yeah, or no crime. I, I say no crime. I did not know this was like a thing, but I'm constantly getting people emailing me, telling me like I don't know what I'm talking about. So, you so know. So chick flicks is fine. I say, ch- yeah, chick flicks. Just like everybody relax kind of. It's a chick, you know? Yeah. Like can we it's, just like take a pill and watch a chick flick? Like that's, calm down. Take Ashley a pill. Gets it. I don't know why they take <laughs> Come on, Netflix. You got one more? Okay. Yeah. Crime or no crime. I might have two here. Okay, crime or no crime? Eating pizza with a knife and fork. Crime. A that's serial crazy. Serial killer? Yeah, that's crazy. Why would you need a knife? Like, unless you're a, like an actual I child. I went through a little phase. Oh, my God. What if it's, <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. What if I went through a little phase. The pizza was too hot. You know, and saying. then I dipped it in it my coat. It made me feel good. <laughs> right. What if it's and a little too it hot? Socks. Or if it's a little too big, you know? Sometimes it's a lot that to mall fold pizza. it up. Mall mm. pizza's like a kite. Like you, <laughs> for you real, need- but then you can just fold it. Like the only time oh, I can see, perfect pizza. I don't listen. I don't like folded pizza, but I would fold it before I eat it with a knife and a fork. Unless the only time I can see using a fork is if it were like a deep dish and there's just like a boatload of cheese. Exactly, I could see that. Yeah, you know, a bunch of toppings. It's like, eh, I it's want, do I want saucy pizza. fingers? It's I want saucy knife fingers. and fork pizza. Yeah, because that's more of a pie. It's a pie. It's a pizza pie. Pizza pie. <laughs> that's so literally a pie. You, you would fold though. Over the a fork. Martinsville fold. Yeah, I'm not a big. Fo- I like. I don't enjoy folding. To me, it kind of like I'd rather have a sandwich. That's a call the calzone. But I'd fold before I go up to the counter and get a knife and a fork. Yeah, that's fair. With your NFL jersey on <laughs> <laughs> on a Wednesday after work. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, Ashley, appreciate it. I'm glad we finally got to go on the same page. Yeah. And thanks for the time to be able to come in studio. Yeah, it's thank awesome. You guys. Um, Again, all the things that I stumbled over at the very beginning. Um, Crime Junkie Podcast. Just have heard it, Every Monday. Go ahead. Take the rest. Yeah, yeah. You can find it at Apple, iTunes, Spotify. We're on Instagram at Crime Junkie Podcast, on Twitter at Crime Junkie Pod, or the website CrimeJunkiePodcast.com. Hell yeah. What is it again? Be Be weird. Be rude. (laughs) Be weird. Be rude. Stay alive. Model to live by Ashley. Thanks. All right, y'all. Thanks, guys. And I love your garlicky. Knots. Whoa. Do you love garlic knots? Ashley Flowers? Basically friends. Yeah, she was fun. She knew it was going down. Yeah. You know? It's different when you when you have a person in here that's been doing this. That's why I told her. She got in. She like popped the headphones right on. She knew to pull that mic up, man, just because got to talk into it, and she knew. So whenever you got a guest at the down. She was bumping. Ready to no have- dead space. <laughs> Ready to have fun, knows how it is, know what podcasting or being on the radio and everything's all about. She's fun. It was dope. So appreciate that we finally got to link up. And if you're into true crime, like I said, which everybody is, you gotta make sure to check it out. It's it's crisp, it's tight. It's like the opposite of us. Like every Monday they're like the they got it scripted. She's ready to roll. It's like thirty eight minutes, bam. Thirty uh, eight? Yeah. Oh, that's hard that's money. Yeah. Some of them will go longer if it's more in depth, you know, uh, a longer story that takes place over a larger timeline, but mostly it's just bam in. Here's what happens. Boom, got it out. Bam, boom, got bam, it. boom, got it.
Um, yeah. We're like, uh, could be an hour and 15 minutes. We might ask the audience something same day, and it could be on Friday when we were <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, but she was cool and uh, definitely ba- part of the fam, basically friends, without a doubt. Fam, 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 fam. You want to do a mock draft? Yeah. All right, for shot 64. Think of Nintendo 64. GameCube Nintendo. Mock Draft 3.0. We're I haven't doing... really talked. I can't believe we haven't discussed V games. We're doing V games, video games. Any type of really computer, arcade. Just video games. Phone. Yeah. Just video games. Yeah. Start us off. First pick in the uh in the draft. I'm going Grand Theft Auto 3. Man. Got big in the Grand Theft Auto, huh? Yeah, I, I feel like, like I think I learned a lot of my life through Grand Theft Auto. Seriously, like when I you just out there stealing people's cars. I just learned bitches. a bunch of stuff yeah. from Grand Theft Auto. Like, oh, you could do that. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, you can do that. Oh, you can like. There's a lot of gang knowledge in there. Okay, I kind of learned how to navigate around too. Honestly, like you you figure out how to use a map. No. <laughs> You need to play it some more then because you still don't know shit about directions. <laughs> so <laughs> didn't, didn't do that good of a job. I think that skipped a generation for me or missed my generation a little bit. I think you guys were I in middle school. caught the back end of that. You guys were in middle school and maybe like early high school when you were doing that. It was still a little too crazy for me. I couldn't bring home Grand Theft Auto to my no, folks. No, I did pull a lot of strings to get Grand Theft Auto. I think my sister bought it for me. Oh, yeah. Because you, you could just ca- kill. Yeah. You had to hide the case and stuff. and It was bad. Sure. But you could just go on the street and just... It was hot, man. People love that shit. That's people basically what it is. It's either you play the game or GTA, you just kill man. people for like three hours. Uh, yeah. Nah, that's Damn definitely bad. my number one, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, number one for me, M- M- uh, Mario Kart, Nintendo 64. I never got into it. Man, you could... But I, I respect Mario Kart. You just sit down. And you just play that for hours, man. It's so easy. It doesn't I require. Ran off the road into the sand, and I was like, I lost. That and was then tough. I just, that's it, dude. If, my, if you're not on it, though, you're done. My senior year of college, me and Jordan Reeser figured out a glitch in the game. You remember uh, Warriors World that had the real dirt roads? It was in a stadium. It was real Kinda. hilly. If you when you right when you started, if you ran hard enough into a certain spot into the wall, it would leap you over and you would be like a lap Shut ahead up. of everybody else. You figured did you research that? Jordan did. I didn't, but then so we So that was a thing. That's all we did is we would race against each other and we would try to hit that. And if you didn't and the other person did, you were screwed. Over. <laughs> Dude, I always got lost on those maps. Yeah. You'd be going backwards. I, I think that's why I did. That. Yeah. I think that's why I stopped kind of playing it because I was bad. That little bug would come down being like, wrong direction, wrong direction. I'm trying! Well, that's where, that's... But just so, man, I love be. when video games are just, not a lot of, of effort is involved. Like, you just pop that in, you're driving Mario Kart. When I was younger, I kind of liked the strategy and stuff. Yeah. But now, like, when you're playing video games, I don't want to think at all. No. Yeah, I want to do the opposite of that. Just but like spy go, games baby. and stuff when you were younger, you had to like know how to do certain things. Like Campaign. there's too much going on. Yeah. The story. The stories before story. whatever yeah. you try to do. Zoom right through it. Oh, for sure. Hey, 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 hey. Then you're like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed <laughs> to do. What am I, I don't get this. <laughs> Blockbuster getting renting video games. Are you into that? Oh man, yeah. Are you kidding there, me? Wasn't there something where you could if you didn't like it in the first, like, five hours, you could take it back and rent something else. That was probably a campaign that they did or something, but whose parents was taking them back after oh, they just took them to get it? Why was it such an ask to go to Blockbuster? Dude, I remember- Like, in, I was trying to go to the f- porn boutique. In sixth grade, I went at it with my parents for probably, like, four hours while I think Jordan Reese was over because I wanted to go get a video game so we could play it on a Friday night, and they just would not give in. My, why was it so tough? I was like, we could already be in there and be back. It was such a thing. Dude, everybody was there. Was everybody hot. in the whole city. It was hype on a Friday night. And, and it, blockbusters always buy something, too. That's like, oh, like buy Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah or Steak and Shake, right. <laughs> so it's you're just like, right. hmm, maybe why don't we make a night out of this? Get a little go, snack. We'll go for little, little putz-putz, too, <laughs> over here. 
Blockbuster was so hyped. Those like those like uh, wire racks, all everything leaned on. Yeah, dude, and I just love I just love the snacks. I just love those cases, dude. When you had a Blockbuster case, they were so snappy. And the logo, and just felt good coming out of your mouth. Just Blockbuster. It wasn't man. too fancy, man. They just slipped a piece of paper inside the like. Uh, yeah, plastic. Yeah. Or the uh, lamination. You just man, I'm going to Blockbuster. It was hard. Blockbuster was hard. That 24 hour drop box. Mm. Hey, yeah, we got stuff there on the way. Yep. <laughs> See ya. So easy. Love it. Such an ad. Those and Pizones. My mom was never going for it. Pizones. You know what Pizones are? No. The Pizza Hut, like. You know what a calzone is? Oh, shit. They came okay. back. Yeah. Dude, my, I could ask right. for a calzone for my birthday. Mom would be like, fuck no. <laughs> oh, my God. I just want to go to Blockbuster and get a pizone. God, that sounds like a night. Yeah, it does. We're old and stupid, man. Okay. Number two. I'm going, I'm going Sims. OG Sims. Two. That's a computer game, right? Well, for the it's number two because I got it on GameCube, too. Wow. So it's an act. Okay. Big toss up here between Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sims. What do you like to do with? I mean, was it just you just like living the life? Do you like to like? I don't know why <laughs> I like building. Sex. <laughs> I don't think they even had sex. Makes me even more of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game with two people no, that was, didn't have sex. I was just a little pervert, like nine years old. Is like, mm-hmm. nah, they didn't, they didn't have mm-hmm. sex ever. That'd be that'd be wild. Nah, I don't know why. I just like building. I like building the house. Mm-hmm. It sounds so dumb now. And buying the stuff. But when you had to play... So you were 30 when you were 11. Yeah. You were Sims 30. I don't know why, man. It was fun. That's funny. Uh, But if you played by the rules, it was impossible. But you got a cheat code. You get all the money and you buy all the stuff and build a mansion. And you just make people live. And they're, my people were always so tired. How'd you like? How'd you win? Was there? You don't. You just you just keep playing. Just playing. That's why. I don't know why it was addicting. I have no idea. Mm. Probably that song. That's just so relaxing, you know. I thought you never played, but you know the song. I played Sims. Oh, I know of Sims. I just in the way they but talk. It just wasn't one <laughs> night. Dude, they definitely got it on. I don't think they did, the but this, here. this had the little, the little happy little bird in the back. I just want the red, the regular one. Yeah, anyways, they know what we're talking about. Wow, it's Sims with one of Simulator. I never got, got into the other Sims. That was like Sims Magic. Sim, there's so many. Mm. That it's like Sims Pets. Yeah. It's OG Sims had it on GameCube. It was cool. It was cool, like making your person. Any yeah. game where you get to create somebody's cool. This is the beginning of like create a player, right? It's like the first customizable thing. Yeah. All right, number two for me, Star Wars Battlefront Two. I think I played dope. a Star Wars game once for like ten minutes, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And this game, it seemed like you were, like you couldn't get hurt. This game was hype because it's kind of like The Sims in a way, where there was just it wasn't a campaign or a story. You you could just do like bad guys versus good guys and have like all the tightest characters and you just you it's kind of like GTA you just kill each other in Star Wars world it's dope and you can like you've got the force yeah so you'd be like Darth Vader versus like Han Solo and stuff like it's just, just hype dude with the double swords or whatever the double, Darth Maul uh, Darth Maul was in there oh yeah who's Hot. stopping that uh number three college football two thousand eight two thousand eight Mm-hmm. Who was on that? Wait. You sure you're not talking about 06? Desmond Howard? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't put that one on there. Which one was 08? Might have been that Boise State quarterback with the weird last name. Dude, it was Jared Zielinski. I don't know. Like, the one with Desmond Howard on the front definitely, like, the beginning. But I think we played 2008. We, like, camped out for that game. Like, when it came out at midnight. Just really? Us and uh, like we got it at midnight. It was that big of a deal. That was one of the last ones, wasn't it? It was always kind of disappointing too. All I think about when I think of NCAA football is 06, first of all. That song. You know where I'm going, baby. How many hours? I this is the first game I played online. 
and yeah. we would play online hard, talk so much shit to people. I think it was first Heisman campaign too, because of Howard. So you could like follow a player and have him win the Heisman. They really, they did it right that year. This is a, this was a game that you could just leave on the main menu page because their soundtrack was so tight. You didn't want to turn it off. This is my whole like eighth grade fr- to freshman summer was this. Eighth grade freshman summer. Going to Target, getting slushies in this. <laughs> oh, Riding my bike. Dude, to, that sounds so fun. Riding my bike to Target, getting those little miniature, like, they had mini cups so you could, like, sample a Frosty. Yeah. I'd go through, like, 68 times <laughs> and take all the Swedish fish on the way out. Ride home, play this game. Song, the song in your head. The whole time. On repeat. God, that's so good, man. Oh, wait, though. Okay. That's three for you? Yeah. Uh, three for me, Super Smash Brothers. Another one, another one that's just low effort. You're just popping in. You're just battling, dude. I don't know why I never did anything with Mario stuff. I never played any games. With I didn't Mario. really ever, besides the like original Mario on Nintendo, but Mario Kart, dude. I mean, jeez. I feel like Mario Kart. Get the hell out. I, I just was really bad at it all the time. I'm more of a cruising guy if I'm doing a racing game. Cruising arcade racing. Remember that? No. I don't. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Serena Williams? Ah, 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 ah. No, that's Gandalf. just that's what would play when you were racing. It was just like the background music. Cruising USA. Damn. You don't remember that? Like the arcade game with the wheel and the pedals. Mm-mm. It was always cruising. Mm-mm. You never saw that? Mm-mm. Sorry, dude. Loser. All right, number four, Aladdin, Super Nintendo. Dude, I, I figured you were gonna say that. It just has to be in there. That game it does. Hot. I still need to make it over to your fucking sisters to play that because that game, when I was like five or six years old. Whew, damn. Why was that thing? I didn't know that was. The I game. just loved I him swinging back and forth from those on those knobs. Wood, yeah, dude, the knobs. On those coat hangers. Yeah, <laughs> outside. Ah, oh, that was killer. Kid man. just booting those guards. <laughs> Original Nintendo like that. God, that was hype. Do you remember I? That Looney Tunes game? Like the Looney Tunes basketball game. It wasn't Space Jam. It was just straight up Looney Tunes basketball. <laughs> no. Oh, dude. It was so hype. I didn't think anybody grew up playing Aladdin. That was the thing. I thought it was just like a game my grandma had and everybody just, Loved we just Aladdin, played it. Dude. And But it turns out today, like everybody had that game. Oh, man. We, we played that, man. Me and my parents played that all the time. That and KFC. That's how I was raised. My grandparents. Kentucky Fried Chicken? Dude, my grandpa owned a KFC no in Michigan. Shit. So and they had that super and they had that game system. So they franchised a KFC? Yes. Wow. So it was like good for them. We're going a lot of money to grandma's, in that Aladdin and KFC. Like, what? And That's they had hot. a woods back there. Oh, let's talk about my grandma. <laughs> Is that where you'd go throw your knives and stuff at the, no, at the not trees? There. I'd get my ass whooped. <laughs> I was too scared, dude. The woods scare me because of that. Woods are creepy, man. Woods are weird. Bad stuff happens in the woods. We'd always be in the... Yeah, why? Why Bad the stuff, woods? You can't see. There's just a bunch of stuff to hide shit under. I think I think when you're just in the woods and you see a deer, that's the scariest thing ever. Because it's real. Because it's, it's real close. and it's always looking weird at you like, what? Are we doing this? Are we you in your house? <laughs> what? Of? All right, four for me. NBA Street Volume 2. And that one, stretch on the cover. I never got into two. Wow, the original was good. Two was mm, that brought the heat. I don't know why uh, I I never thought stretch was that good on the first one. So when he was on the cover on the second one, I was like, I get that he's the face of NBA Street, but I don't think he's that good. I thought other other like s- special characters were better than stretch. I feel that. You know, I'm, I'm like, but that cover that is just tight. That cover yeah. was tight. Yeah, it was cooler than the original one. Who's your favorite unlockable person? Taking you right in there. Oh God, um, I don't really know. Uh, this should be our intro, probably, because we were reminisce all the time. Man, I'm trying to think of those dudes who are the unlockable ones. I can only I think of them on the first one. Yeah. Um, nah, but NBA Street Volume 2, man. The announcer. 
That's not yeah. Hello, operator. Dude, that was the best. It's time. Five. I'm having a little moment here on five. You go. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I might need some more time. Five for me. Bringing it full circle. Got a racing with Mario, Star Wars, all that. Madden 04. Who's on the cover? Mike Vick. Oh, yeah. Now, I had some I had some minutes. You know how you could see how much time you played those games? Really? Yeah, there was a little tracker thing, and it was weird. Like, you play for a long time. Everybody played with Mike Vick on that game, and everybody ran for, like, 325 yards and seven touchdowns. It was kind of... It was kind of uh, like, you shouldn't have been able to be the Falcons on that game. Yeah. When people were the Falcons, it was like... Pfft. But everybody was, especially when they were just playing themselves. And uh, Mike Vick, just the cover was cool. He's scrambling. I, d- I stole all my mom's change to buy that game. Falcons white jersey. That cover popped off because they got new jerseys and he was in them. That's like right. he was playing That's a right. game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my mom had a basket of change and I got $50 out of it. And she's like, how are you buying this game? And I was like, I just have my own money. It just sucked, too, she's like, dude. Where's my like, change? The Madden curse happened to him that year. He broke his freaking leg in the in the preseason. In the preseason? Yeah, they were debuting those new uniforms. He was Madden. He was the Madden cover preseason, broke his leg. Against who? I kind of forgot about that. He broke his leg? Yep. In the preseason. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Yep. That's what people were like, that's real. Who was before him on Madden? Because that is kind of a real thing. Wait, did Tom Brady break it? Did he win the fucking Super Bowl or something after being on it? Yeah. No, he didn't win it, but he was in it. He didn't get hurt. Marshall Falk, Madden 03. God damn. Whoops. All right, number five for me, I'm going James Bond. Nightfire. 64? No. GameCube. Oh, so that's not Goldeneye. No. James Bond Goldeneye was that was up there for me. That's honorable mention. That's that's a sixth or seventh pick on my big board. That in the line. I just never had video games when I was that young and I got it. Once I got video games, fifth grade and James Bond, I was like, I gotta take this. I I gotta do this. Yeah. James Bond games were tight. Did that have the blood going over? Like when you got killed? Mm-mm. If you got shot, it just, I think um, that was weird, kind of. But I think it just all turned red. It didn't like drip. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Golden Eye one dripped, but it was that's the what it was getting at. Bloody James Bond multiplayer though. It's tight, man. That's a good list. You got honorable mention. Yeah, that's what, that. That was one of them. James Bond Golden Eye. Um, NCA 06. Tekken arcade. Call of Duty. I never really got into Call of Duty that much. The first Halo. Or, no, Halo 2, excuse me. Never played Halo. Halo 2. A lot of hours. Eighth grade, freshman year of high school. Def Jam Vendetta. Where the rappers fight? Damn. No, not familiar. Sounds like it's be, it'd be you, though. Hey, let's wrap this up with shit I don't like. Sean Paul against Snoop Dogg? All right, see. Because I love you, bird people, and whoa. Shit I don't like. That's it, that's it, that's it. You first. The blocker charge Twitter account. I don't know what that is. It's just a dude who literally all of his tweets, I think he used to play in the NBA, but all of his tweets are just those videos of somebody getting trampled by like a bulldozer and he just says blocker charge. And everybody quotes it and is like, oh, block, oh, didn't have the feet set in time. And, uh, that is was such in the a circle. thing in basketball where you don't know. Like, it's always 50-50, it seems like. Yeah, I know, but just, I mean, that's all it is, constantly. And everybody comments on it. And, and after a while, it's like, okay, the first time that you said, oh, it's a charge because his feet were set. It's like, ha-ha, yeah, for sure, he got, he got trampled. But after, like, the 50th time. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I don't know how, man. It's everywhere. I see it all the time. Who I always wonder if like one person runs those type of accounts. Because how do you get yeah, all I that think it's, video? It's just a guy. It's just a guy. So like one a night during basketball season. Multiple man. So how many games is he watching? It's not. It's not games. It's just. It's not actual. 
basketball charges are blocked. It's somebody getting, it's like somebody falling off their oh. skateboard. Oh, and they, you this know, it's just people. It's it's ridiculous. And they land on their face. Blocker charge. That show ridiculous. Blocker charge. Always on. Blocker charge. Someone falling off the bike. Blocker charge. Someone falling diving into a pool. I mean, and and not necessarily so much him. I guess like yeah, after a while, okay. But it's the people, like I said, who quote it and are like, oh, it's a charge because his feet were set and um, he got there in time. Cool, dude. Yeah, I don't know about that. Shit, I don't like logging into YouTube when it signs you out of Google. Like when <laughs> when you're logged into Google and then you log into YouTube and then your email becomes that email that you logged into YouTube. Just logging hey, in. They're separate. They're separate browsers. Why does one control the other? I don't like it. No, I'm with you. You could be logged in on a computer on the fifth floor on YouTube and go down to the first floor and log into Google on a different computer, and it would still log I'm not you logged into the wrong in, one. And on my Gmail, I'm like, what happened? Like, I should that should be permanent. There should be a solution to logging in. Like, there yes. needs, there needs to be one thing that overlaps all everything, and, and they should just, be and separate, it's secure. I'd, I'd pay for it. I'd pay $5 a year or something. They should not be connected. I should be able to sign in and out of my Google and sign in and out of YouTube. It should be... Yeah. And different browsers? I, should I don't like moms who get Instagram famous for posting pictures of their kids that are like really well done, like really professional pictures all the of time. Of just their kids or them and their kids? Their kids, but then they'll have them and their kids, IG but then moms. it'll just be their kids. IG moms. Hate them. Hate them. RC's like, yeah, I want to post pictures of my kids. I'm like, I, IG mom. That's fine. I but I mean to get a whole fit IG mom to get a whole thing put together. Sixty two k and yeah, and to have in your in your bio like mama blogger, and then you have highlights of like each separate kid. There's so many clones of them too, dude. There's, they're all the same. They're just wearing yoga pants and. With big sunglasses on, and, and how the do you, kid has like a and wearing hats, pop. Oh, the hats, and looking at the ground. Why? Why do you like? How do you? How can you feel okay about just putting your kid out there like that? Just horn your kid out. Kids are gonna be so good at being on TV when they're older, man. Because they're always looking into phones. Like they're always on. Like they're always getting their picture taken constantly. It's gonna be like no shit for them. All right, those are mine. Those, those are just from me. They've been weighing on me. When little kids expect you to share your food, Jason Riley. Mm. The Kai, kids don't even like food. Kai have one? <laughs> it's never can I. Kai? Kai have one? Kai have Kai have fry? No. Not a full sentence. You little ever. bitch. These are my fries. I don't care if you're three. Kai have one? And they and what's always funny is they have their own food over there, but they want yours. Like they'll have their own little kids meal or their I own can't tiny deal with plate. Little kids. But they want yours. I give in too easy with kids. Yes, take it all. Take it all. Take it all. Mm. And slap me. When people walk on the road and not the sidewalk, Cooper Robinson. Yeah, you can I'm say a, that. Dude, at night, taking a walk, I'm a road walker. In a neighborhood, Give sure. me the road. In a neighborhood, sure. Sidewalk? Sidewalk, you got to be on the sidewalk for, uh Yeah. I guess neighborhood, the road is okay. Oh, road walk at night? Road walk. Just own the street. Bike, biking on the street. That's fine because there's not as much traffic. But if you're on a, a main road and there's a sidewalk the for you to get your ass out on there. Get the way. Bike cyclists. Like, dude, come on. If you get hit, sorry about you. That's what I think. It's like check for pedestrians. No, check for the cars. They can kill you. Yeah. Hey. No shit. Uh... This is from our, our boy Liam Pinheiro. Coachella outfits. Man, people flex for Coachella. Still don't even get it. Don't even know what it is. Just a bunch of music. No, I in know. Three days. But the, you don't get the like the whole appeal? I again it goes back to the theory of Instagram runs everything. They don't go there for the shows. They go there for tight Instagram pictures. Like, they're not excited to see, sure, they may be like, oh my God, can't wait to see this artist, but no, really, they're, they're not even like awake when they, how do you know <laughs> when the artist is on, you know what I mean? It's just like. And it's not going to be quality. Like anybody, yeah, like anybody's like, oh, we got to get over, there's no plan, I don't think, when you're out there. Nah. 
For sure. It's just like a day at the beach. You're just like, I don't know, we'll just go there. That's how I always think of that. Play some volleyball, maybe yeah, get in like, the water. We, we don't a have a, an agenda. Yeah. There's not a time schedule. Travis Scott's on at three. No one's saying, let's go over to this. I don't no know. One I even don't have knows. no idea how it works. No one even knows. Camping out. Camping out at the Indy 500, camping out anywhere. Can't do Somebody it. Somebody say that? I think that's what happens. At Coachella, oh, yeah. at those festivals, they camp. They don't like don't they camp out? I don't know if there's showers. Saran wrap. What kind is that again? Stacy on Instagram. Saran wrap is a clear. Ooh. With the with the blade yeah. blade on the box. Uh huh. But if you don't blade it right the first time, you got that stretched out weird like corner on Saran wrap. But I kind of like when I get like a plate of cookies or brownies and there's Saran wrap over the top. Cling wrap. You know they're gonna be really fresh then. Like in the like in a And hard, really good. Like in a hard like ding like when you knock on a bowl and you're like, Oh, this is a badass bowl. And there's cookies in there with saran wrap over the yeah. top. You're uh-huh. like, oh. Yeah. And you know that they're gonna be fresh and they're gonna be good and they're gonna be placed like perfectly. There's gonna be like fifteen on the bottom all the way up to one on the top. Like a nice little cookie. Somebody's pyramid. mom took some time. Let's go. Foil? Don't like foil. I think foil's used when you run out of saran wrap. There's a fear of foil. My sister. You know, if you chew on foil and you have feelings, it'll mess you up. Like you'll get like shocked. My sister's afraid of foil. Like it freaks her out. The sound? Kind of the sound and the feel. She's like a dog with a vacuum. Yeah. She also hasn't driven on the driven on the interstate yet, though. So, you know, she's a freak. Uh from Luke. (laughs) Guys that get ejected from rec league B ball games. (laughs) (laughs) There's they always have girlfriends too. There. I don't know about those dudes, man. Like, who cares that much? About a whole lot of things. There's a few things that I care a lot about, but there's to hey, go pretty to much that, everything else. To go to that point? No. You're crazy. Or you're just trying to put on a show. Like, you're trying to get attention. <laughs> like, whoa, that dude's crazy. <laughs> Watch out for that, dude. I don't want to play them next week, bro. He doesn't give a shit, dude. Watch out for him. There's always, like, kind of fights, too. The intramural games and rec league games. It's just a big... Kind of hostile situation. Yeah, it's just a big pissing contest, you know? Every guy's just like, ugh. Every guy's a... What's up, bro? Every guy's a hot head there. Every guy's a hot... You can't play unless you have a temper. People who eat pizza with a knife and fork, Jacob Day. (laughs) Let's talk about it. I think it's fine. You That's think it's shit you think it's like. fine because to you eating with a f- knife and a fork is like okay, this is kind of closer to a salad. This is a little bit healthier than just freaking picking it up and having the grease all over my face. Uh, when you put it that way, um, I've eaten pizza normally like eighty percent of the, my life. Yeah. So bringing out a knife knife and fork with the crunchy crust against the plate, not that bad. Some that's a good no, change I up. Hear you. You know, area. and when yeah. it's too hot, and sometimes it makes for a better bite. Sometimes it's really hot, and you well, you want to eat it, but you got to cut it a little bit because you want to eat and you're hungry, and then it cools it down a little bit. Cutting the crust up. Like pizza to Roma. bite of crust. God. Yeah, sounds good. You want to get pizza later? Okay. Uh, from MJD2, not Maurice Jones-Drew, I don't think. Um, Joe. Says, should I don't like new post stories on Instagram. Done that. Same. For some things you have to. Like we're pushing out the Super no, Bowl. No, I get that. It's annoying. It is. It has annoying written all over it. Yeah. New post. Look at it. But sometimes your stuff gets buried. Yeah, dude. I mean, I, I again, I'm biased, but I think that we're trying to push out a, a funny Super Bowl video that we did and we want people to see it. Sometimes you got to do that a little bit. Yeah. You know, but if you're just posting out like, "Hey, new post. I wore a hat and I looked down on the ground," <laughs> you can. Who's watching cough. that? There's levels to it, man. Yeah, with anything. The what way I- little Asian girls uh, sprint walk. Jesus. <laughs> Who's Lou ever- Bauer? God. But uh, the way girls sprint walk. Girls walk so fast. <laughs> They're ready to go, man. Wet. Let's go. Where are you guys going? It's like they're all little Velmas from Scooby Doo. Like that really fast walk. Girls walk fast. Their legs dude. are moving twice as fast as ours. You can't catch them. 
And because we got longer strides, and so they have to really. They got to go. They got to go. Girls are always going. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We going? <laughs> are we going? Are we going out? Let's go. <laughs> what else? People chewing obnoxiously mouth open. Got a lot of these. Dude, mouth open chewers. I don't I don't see it a lot anymore. I don't. Like, yeah. I, I haven't been like, what are you doing I when someone's chewing in a long time? I think as more people are starting to realize how bad it is, but at the same time... That's just how some people chew. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have started that. <laughs> when people at the gym make eye contact with you in the mirror, that's a shit I don't like. It is really weird. And really like a very like intimate, intimate moment. Thing. You're like, okay, I'm spying on her. Oh, God. Do we have to go talk now? <gasps> And you know so hard. Like, you can't hide that. Damn. Like, you can't... And you, the the look away... Ooh, what if you keep looking? That's so weird. That's why I work out by myself. So you can't look at people? Hey, you should I don't like... We, this is this is a rehash one, but it just happened last night. Should I don't like uh, people who take their shoes off at the gym and just work out in socks? <gasps> yeah, you better be, like, a Greek god to take your shoes off. This guy was also somebody who when he was like doing um when he was doing bench press and when he was doing abs it's just the whole time just Where was this? At the apartment. And then once he gets done with he goes over props his shoes off, starts putting his sweaty feet on the uh, squat thing. Where are we? Chuck E. Cheese? Dude, I was you just know, like... Kids take their shoes off at Chuck E. Cheese even. I'm like, oh, Yeah. I mean, I... Get your I, shoes back. I just don't... Get them out of the cubby. I just, <laughs> McDonald's Play Place? That was so weird. Grossest thing ever, dude. All oh. those feet. That has to be the most germ place of all time. Dude, kids kids shit and... Why are kids attracted to... <laughs> kids, kids always... Kids always throw up and shit in those places. Why? Like, what... Because what they think no one's going to know. What it's, makes, but why would you shit in there? <laughs> like there of all play, like why there? Somebody probably think it's funny. <laughs> always in the there's all. Why is there always something weird in the ball pit? There's like dildos in there. <laughs> Where dude, are you I've going, heard, dude? I've heard so many like stories to- about like piss and weird shit happening in the ball piss pit. Piss for sure, but dildos is this like the yeah, lion's den? I've heard den? that, dude. I've heard weird like condoms in the ball pit. I could see that freaks out there, but dildos, yeah. Lion? If you see condoms, you see dildos. Lion's Same Den category. ball pit, dude. Same level. Ball pits. I mean, just the title. Ball pit? It is. It's just like a... Ew, that's gross. <sighs> I think they outlaw... I think McDonald's smarted up. is like, yeah, we got to get rid of these. The play place? Yeah. How much fun were those? Yeah, I know. Why we were we all... Fight. We loved it, was it, always fighting in there. Like Mortal Kombat in that open circle area. That was the ring. It's going down. This is all from M. Benkert 2. No show socks. Shit I don't like. Damn. I have to. I know about that. I'm not wearing mids with my shorts. I think it's an age thing. Suitcases with no wheels. That's just shit I... I, I'm the opposite on that. I like... I like bags. Just throw it over, uh, the shoulder. over the shoulder. I don't. I don't really like rolling. Throw it over the shoulder like you're Indiana Jones and walk. Unless you're skipping town for two years. Yeah. Indoor soccer cleats. That's a shit I don't <laughs> like. It's like, are they shoes? They or are. Are they? They've got a weird shape. Always that weird guy that you had like home ec with that would wear those in high school. It was such a soccer. What are you doing, guy? Such a guy soccer high school shoe. Like you go flat the, bottoms, weird shape. They're always so flat and like a weird brownish. That kinda. brown bottom. Why does that have to be brown? I don't know. Don't like crunchy peanut butter. Mm, I like a little crunch every now and then. It just it's a nice change of pace. Switches up the game a little bit. If you do crunchy too many times in a row, that'll ruin it for you for maybe a year. Mm, can't take that much time off peanut butter. Crunchy though. Well, that's what I'm saying. If it ruins it for you, though, you got to be able to keep the regular peanut butter in rotation. I've taken like three weeks off of peanut butter right now. No PBA tour? 
Nah, I haven't been on tour. No tour life? I haven't been on tour. You're saving up for the challenge. The challenge? The PBA tour challenge. Yeah. I'm getting ready for it. Who do you it. think you are, Ryan? When I'm on peanut butter, it is a, it is not okay. <laughs> I've seen you. You just you you dunk that thing and whip it around the whole that knife around the whole peanut butter. It's on. Uh, it, there's gallon. no there's no amount. And you there's just go. no max. There, I'm like, hey, you want some apple with that peanut butter? Because I mean, it's just straight PB. No. <laughs> it's a peanut butter no, spoon. No. Yeah, dude. That about Six it. Foe. Tight, dude. Um, good show. Uh, let's see. What's coming up next week? Next week, last mock draft. NFL draft's going down. I um, think we'll have a little little insider on for that, maybe. Ooh. Something. Uh, don't forget to follow at Espresso Fam on Instagram, at Benedict Polizzi. You're going to kill yourself for that marker. At Joey Molinaro. It's all right. Or at Molinardo, excuse me. Um, subscribe, rate, review. We're killing it on the on the ratings and the reviews. Keep doing more that. More and more people are doing it. Um, love seeing what people have to say, whether it's just sup or hot show or anything like that. Just go real quick. Write whatever you want. Hopefully it's something funny something and good. Stupid. Something stupid, but, you know, it, it is. It's a science. Like, people hate to hear it. We hate to say it, kind of. But with how this game works... The more ratings and reviews you have, the more it pops up the charts and the more people are going to find it. So help us out, fam. You know, yeah. we try to give you some good shit every week. A little crew love, a little fam love. Help us out a little bit. Uh, YouTube as well is up there that we put all our shows up there and everything. Ashley Flowers interview will be up there. And yeah, so next week we'll be back for 65. I think.